hordes of looters stormed hundreds of retail stores in South Africa, grabbing anything they could get their hands on. Outnumbered and overwhelmed, police struggled to contain the violence. Police fire rubber bullets, tear gas, but the looters are undeterred. There's not one shop here that hasn't been attacked and completely ransacked. Dozens are dead. This man was injured in the mayhem. Nobody stopped to help him. And in one heart-stopping moment, this toddler was rescued from a building set ablaze by rioters. The violence was triggered by the jailing of former President Jacob Zuma for refusing to appear before a commission investigating corruption during his nine-year tenure. His supporters took to the streets, but it has now boiled over into anarchic rage fueled by persistent poverty that's been exacerbated by a deadly third wave of the COVID pandemic. <laughs> but for the shop owners, victims of that rage, it was all too much. What? What Over a thousand arrests have been made and now the South African military has been deployed to hotspots, but thrown into this mix are armed militias taking the law into their own hands. If they start shooting, there will be war, and that's the thing that we don't want here in South Africa. South Africa is a peaceful country. But for five straight days, that peace has been shattered in the deadliest violence this country has seen in the more than 27 years since apartheid ended. Of immediate concern now, some food supply chains have been disrupted, an oil refinery has been closed, and the transport of oxygen to fight this pandemic has been hampered.